Good morning, friends. What's on my mind today? Well, since I've made a couple of videos in the last couple of weeks about the water here on the north shore of Lake Chapala in Jalisco, Mexico, um, one about uh, the water supply and the other one about the water quality. I'm starting to get questions about that uh, reverse osmosis portable uh, water purifier that I have back up there in the uh, motorhome in Arizona. And one question was, do I use it? Uh, yes, I use it when I'm out like in quartzite where the water is terrible. It makes it taste better. Um, I also use it uh, if I'm going to be drinking water out of my uh, fresh water tank in the RV. Uh, I don't use it at the ranch because we have very good and very good tasting well water. Um, and I just love the water there. So I don't use the reverse osmosis portable water machine in the RV when I'm at the ranch and when I'm confident that my uh, fresh water tank in the RV is uh, okay. Well, I didn't bring it to Mexico. And I think I may have even said in that video that I thought I'd just order another one for myself when I got here to Mexico, but uh, there was a shipping problem. And then I contacted the company and, well, anyway, we didn't get it worked out for me to get one here in Mexico from them or to buy one and have it shipped here. Um, so I kept looking for a different reverse osmosis uh, uh, water purifier here for my home in Mexico uh, because, as we've said before, don't drink the water in Mexico. <laughs> not, not the water out of the faucet. Uh, this is not a new thing for me. Let me show you something else. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I grew up in South Dakota with well water and it tasted really good. And as I became an adult and moved around the country and tasted water in different places, I became concerned about water quality. And back when I was a young person, uh, the health concerns were never a big uh, topic of discussion. But over the years, it's become more important to me. Twelve years ago, I went and bought that. It's a reverse osmosis thing. I bought it uh, in Texas at a Costco on one of our uh, driving trips up to the States from here at our home in Mexico. And there's a problem with it. That uh, reverse osmosis under-the-counter system has been sitting up there on that shelf for all of these years because when I got it home and read the directions, for a system like that, you need water pressure. And we don't have enough water pressure here in our house with gravity flow from the Tanaco, the black water tank on the roof. There's not enough pressure to make the reverse osmosis under the counter thing work uh, well, so I never hooked it up, thinking, oh, someday I'll get a pressurized system. But no, I don't have a pressurized system. And I know that my system is the same system that millions of households have in Mexico. Not enough water pressure from just gravity flow from a tank on the roof to run a reverse osmosis, um, a, a, a normal one. So that's kind of why I was excited about that one that was portable that I had up there in the motorhome. And um, uh, because of that water pressure problem. So when I found out that I wasn't gonna be able to get that one, 
I'm sorry that I'm distracted. I'm about to murder, I don't say kill or swat, I say murder a fly. I don't think I got it. We may have to visit that situation again. But speaking of visiting situations again, so I've been looking um, for a countertop reverse osmosis water purifier that I could use at my home here in Mexico. And I found one. You know, I always say the universe takes care of Jerry. Not long after I found this one, lo and behold, the company contacted me and asked me if I wanted to review one. And it's here. Tokit Occupur T1. RO filtration system, six stages. Uh, pure water to drain water ratio, three to one. Uh, reverse osmosis water dispenser. Rated voltage, 120 volts, 60 hertz. Does a quarter of a liter per minute. Hey. Well, my first impression is, uh, when I agreed to review it, it said it was a countertop model. It's kind of big for my countertop. Well, let's uh, get it out of the box, see what we got. Out of the box, it's not nearly as big as it looked, which is good. Whoa. Check this out. There's water droplets. Some of the stuff I read about this was that they tested at the factory to make sure that it's working correctly. It wasn't a lie. There's still water <laughs> in there. Uh, this is looking uh, very manageable to sit over here on my counter. pitcher fills that up on the box it said it will fill it at the rate of a quarter of a liter per minute but this and I, I knew about this and I like the idea they send you a second water pitcher to keep in the refrigerator so you just Switch them out, and you always got this much water handy and ready to go. Well, I have some more uh, studying to do and get this thing hooked up. Um, and we'll test some water. I've put the Tokit Aquapur T1 through its cleaning cycles. You have to do three cleaning cycles when it's brand new. And uh, I've learned how to use it, and now it's time to show you how to use it. First, we're going to fill the fresh water reservoir. Nice carrying handle. Take it to the sink. First thing I notice is it's too tall to fit underneath the faucet. Fortunately, 
I have a faucet that comes out. Fill it up with fresh water. There's a mark right there. It says max, maximum. We place it back on there. Just that easy. Put the cover on. And uh, it just starts itself. It's filling the fresh water pitcher. It takes four minutes for one liter. And I'm letting you listen to it. It's very quiet. And it's done. Now if you want a cup of water or a glass of water, four ounces, eight ounces, 12 ounces, or 17 ounces, just touch the button. And what it's doing is it's taking water out of the pitcher and putting it into the cup. When I measured this, I checked it with this measuring cup. I checked it for four ounces and eight ounces, and it was absolutely perfect. There, we did four ounces, exactly a half a cup. Now, if you want to stop it in the middle, all you have to do is touch it again. This is called the take water button. The smart display gives you a bunch of information. Up here is total dissolved solids in the uh, input water, 573 um, parts. And in the uh, purified water, eight parts. So took a lot of stuff out. Uh, reset the filter if you have to change them. Clean the filters every once in a while. Uh, the Particulate filters and the RO filter status. How many ounces you're going to get. If you want to change that, you just touch that. It gives you 8 ounces, 12 ounces, 17 ounces. Smart display. Oh, speaking of smart, check this out. This little tray, it's magnetic. So we've taken water out of the pitcher and put it into the cup. And I wanted to know, well, how do I push a button to start it to refill that? And I couldn't figure it out. Finally, I did. All you got to do is put on a new pitcher and it fills it up. How does it know when it's full? I don't know. And what can we do with a full pitcher? I'm going to pour this back in here so that you see that we, in fact, do have a full pitcher. And I want to show you something else that I've figured out. You can take this and put it in the refrigerator. Have cold water all the time, but I figured out something else. Watch this. A full pitcher is exactly the right amount For 10 cups of coffee, which means I don't have to fill this, I just take this and pour it right into my coffee pot. A lot of convenient features. Um, the two pitchers, the fact that it's just plug and play and it works, uh, easy to run, but uh, as you know, <laughs> I'm a skeptical guy. I'm not going to uh, believe that it works, and by works I mean makes pure water just because some company writes it on their box. And speaking of on the box, when we were first looking at the box and it said pure water to rejected water three to one, I missed the fine print there. And the question arose in my mind as I'm learning how to use this Toolkit Acupur T1 water purifier. The question arose wait a minute, this is 
supposed to be a reverse osmosis. Where is the water going that's rejected? I, when I was first looking at this, before I had it, I was thinking, well, I'm going to have to set it by the sink because it gets rid of the water. And when we looked at the box, it said three to one. So I'm thinking, okay, if three gallons goes down the drain for every one gallon of pure water you get because everybody knows that's how reverse osmosis works. It wastes water. So being the skeptic, all of a sudden I'm thinking, is this really a reverse osmosis machine or not? Where's the drain water going? And then I figured out that it must be going back into the fresh water tank. And that perplexed me. So I spent some time Googling it. And yes, turns out one of the ways to make reverse osmosis more efficient with regard to water usage is to run the rejected water back into the fresh water tank and reverse osmosis purify it again. And that's an acceptable way of doing it to reduce the wasted water even better, but <laughs> am I going to take their word for it? No, we're going to test the water. And how am I going to test it? My last video, the Cactoli drinking water tester. So we're going to set up a little water test here. First of all, I have a glass of water out of my kitchen faucet. And we're going to take this leftover, and there's always a little leftover here in the bucket. We're going to pour some of that rejected water into that glass. And here we have our purified water. If you want to know what the Cactoli drinking water tester is and whether or not it works, go watch my last video. I trust it. First, we're going to measure the tap water out of my kitchen faucet. We got a green light, so it's not terrible, but it's 222 parts per million of total dissolved solids. And 88% good. Now we're going to test the purified water from the Tokit Aqua Pool. Uh, we have 97% uh, excellent. Total dissolved solids, 26, so we've reduced them by 200 dissolved solids. And now, for me, the real test. And the real test is... The leftover water, is it really full of those dissolved solids that we got rid of? Dissolved solids, 1,003. Yeah, it's working as advertised. Question, why did we get 97% instead of 100% when we tested the purified water? A couple of things. First of all, I've tested that water with this thing multiple times and gotten 99 every time except that time and I thought about redoing the video but here's what you have to understand first of all I dipped it in the sink water before I cleaned it a little bit but not good enough and then dipped it in the purified water so we got a 97 instead of a 99 
the other possibility is that this thing remineralizes the water and maybe that's why we get 99% instead of 100. But you have to realize that we're comparing it to distilled water. This thing is calibrated with distilled water. And so we're getting 99% of the purity of distilled water out of the Tokit Aquapur T1 RO system. Should I redo it? I'm not doing science here. I'm just trying to stay healthy. I'm a month away from 79 years old. How am I doing? <laughs> Links below if you're interested. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.